if you know I see what one. Oh, no, just wicked. Uh, foolish and insipid. Aya. Ooh, them. Them I try to stop. Tell them the war to start. So you see black people get shot. Yo, ooh, them. It seems like them alone fit talk. So you ask your love, not the love why stop. Stop. Me why not shed the light from the dark. Life is not all, all, all about love and hugs and kisses with the enemies. SUPK 53rd Annual Low Passover. 53rd Annual Lowest Passover is going to be held down here in Florida. It's going down. You are here tonight to get a chance to be righteous enough to be worthy of God. Come on, to save you. That's right. It's going down. The Lord's 53rd Annual Passover. When we say we no cowards, we stop that business. We no cowards up in here. Book your hotels now at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites. The IHG Hotel, 301 Tucker Lane, Cocoa Beach. Florida, 32926. Here's a lot of men down. You dealing with the men of war. We at war. I sided with the Lord. Hey, Pastor Paul, your dishes, pots, and sports knives. I got a life. This is like an apartment. This is a hotel. You know what I mean? This is going to be holy ground for all our beautiful, wonderful brothers and sisters from all over the world. You understand? We can boast that now. Brothers and sisters coming not only from this every state, but from all over the world. I heard the numbers this year is ridiculous. We had to buy out the whole hotel. Friday, April 15th at the Space Coast Convention Center. This is going to be glory. glory, 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 glory. We don't give a fuck. You can see it in our face. Got it out the mud. Straight up out the face. Grease and proper of the Lord. Gotta teach this people. Exposing all the lies with the truth. Now they can see the evil. We the lost children of the Lord. Y'all should holler, chopping heads off with my sword. Holy Bible, one west, one west, one west, one west, one west. Most high in Christ. Hey, Shalom, I don't want you. How about you, man? Shut up. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, come. Shalom. Yeah, how about you, man? Shut up. Come. Most high in Christ. Hey. <clears throat> come, come, come. We back up in this piece, man. So lock it. Let me just make sure I get this here. What's going on, young man? We got some people up in here already. Most high in Christ. All right. I mean, so lock it. Nah, 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 not that one. I want this one. Count yeah, put that in the background. Most high in Christ. Hey man, we, we back at it again, man. What's going on with you, Adam? How's everything, sir? Yeah, everything's so up. Everything's so up, man. You know, most high in Christ, most high in Christ. Hey, the water, the water to everybody that's online right now, tuning in with us. You know, what I'm saying we're gonna get some more people up in here, of course. You know, what I'm right. saying, but but of course, you know, this is the unplugged from the Matrix podcast brought to you by the ISUPK, the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, under command in General Yahana. You understand me, teaching the right. truth of the Bible since 1969. You know what I'm saying? Teaching the truth that uh, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the true Jews according to the Bible. You understand? And how can I forget that we also teach that the oppressor is the, the devil the Bible speaks of? <laughs> That's right. You understand? <laughs> Got to make sure we, 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 we say that. Okay? Yeah, exactly. So 
Unplug from the Matrix podcast, uh, you know what I'm saying, brought to you by uh, the ISUPK. We got, of course, Captain of 10,000, your guard wop on deck as per usual. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Officer of 1,000, Ayaza Ab, will be uh, on with us shortly. You know what I'm saying? He's just taking care of a few things, but he's going to be with us in just a moment. Okay, I'm Officer okay. of 500, count, so I'm Officer of 500,000, you know what I'm saying? And this particular podcast, this show is all about exposing the lies, man. It's all about pulling the wool. From off of your, you know what I'm saying, your eyes and showing you what really is going on, you know what I'm saying, in this place called America. You know what I'm saying? In this in this world that we have been trained by the Christian church and by all of our false leaders to believe is uh, you know what I'm saying, is a is a is a paradise. We believe in the American dream and we believe that this is, you know what I'm saying, the end all be all, and that we have to join with the troops and and, and get all together, and that there's gonna be a nice rainbow. At the end of the tunnel, yeah. when the only thing waiting for you at the end of that tunnel is death and nothing oh. more. You understand? And if, I can add if I can add something to that, if I can please, add to that, please, other one. And look at this. You know the Super Bowl is Sunday, right? Right. So now I see all on these shows and these little talk shows and stuff. You know, it's on TV to talk. Mm -hmm. I see all these black people supposed to perform it at halftime. Come, come. We talked about Ice, um, what, what's his name? Um, I forget, Ice Dr. Snoop. Dre, Dr. Mm -hmm. Dre, Snoop, and other people. And you know, and it's like, boy, it's man, I mean, you know, what I'm saying you can't see it if you're not in the truth. That's if right, you're not, in the truth, you're not gonna be able to see it, you know what I'm saying? But it's just oh, always God. the oppressors trying to join us with him more. That's right, you know what right. And, oh, and I heard some Negro saying, yeah, 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 he was on, um, the, um. I think Good Morning America, one of them shows. Uh -huh. and he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna show, yeah, we're gonna show that we should have always been up here in, in here, you know? Right. Well, <laughs> man, I mean, boy, it's terrible. Good night. Good it's night. Terrible. We are lost people, man. You Damn know what I'm right. saying? You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and look, and it, it, you know what? It, it, it humbles you. It humbles you to the truth. You know what I'm saying? You be like, man, I'm thankful to the Most High. Come on, come on. Because this truth. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, you can, right. I mean, we could be blind like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you really, we are, we are, as a people, we are really trying to solidify ourselves onto them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to be all right with them. Right. You know, you know they got to accept us. Right. It's like we're looking for so much acceptance from them. What in the world? I mean, I don't, I mean, come on. I want us to fall away from these slave games. That's right. They all excited about being on the halftime show, and yeah, we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that. Like, hey, what? They they in the, in the matrix. Damn right. <laughs> That's right. They in the matrix. Right. Most high yeah. incredible. But you saying it's so heavy, I don't want you know. Uh, I think I might have a precept that goes with that. I, I, I might have. One. <laughs> they they might. They, I don't know if they heard this one before. I don't want. Get it right. down, I don't want. This is the book of Michael. Chapter two and verse two. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I, I I discovered this one last night. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Michael, chapter two and verse ten. Arise ye and depart. Boy, arise ye and depart, man. Mm. That is just so heavy, man. I mean, it's like, man, you know what I'm saying? Being, you won't understand this precept, and you won't feel it. It won't mean as much to you unless you be in the truth that I speak. You know, That's really right. like, really like. Serving the Most High and keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. You know what I'm saying? And really being obedient unto the Most High, you won't understand this precept. It won't have that much meaning to you. Right. You know, we said arise ye and depart. You know what I'm saying? Depart. I mean, oh, take God. your spirit. That's take right. your spirit. Don't jump on a plane because there's nowhere you can go. Right. There's nowhere you can go. But take your spirit out of the land that you are in. That's right. You can, you can, you can look, this precept, it only means for Israel. Wherever we are, on the planet, you know, I don't care if you're in the, in the UK, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Wherever we are on the planet, you got to rise and depart. I mean, That's take right. your spirit out of that place where you are. Come on, man. man. Come on. The uh, book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Mm, this is not your rest. It's that telling you. I mean, the most high got it for us. This is not your rest. This is not the place where you're supposed to be. That's right. You put to strive your whole life to get to, and in this place, it's going to be hey, you're going to be you're going to you're going to find equality. 
That's right. You want to find appreciation. Everybody's going to love you. No, this is not your rest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on, Man, come, read on. On, come on, come on, sir. Select me. Because it is polluted. Oh, ouch. And that's just, it's polluted. Damn. It's polluted with all the wickedness that you can think of and more. I mean, all the wickedness of the oppressor. It's polluted. That's all right. the sins that go against the most high God. That's the main thing. It's polluted with all the sinful nature you can think of. That's right. Any wicked thing that's in the Bible that is against God, in the land that you are in, it's accepted. You know what I'm saying? It's polluted. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. It shall destroy you. It even with a sword destruction. Oh. It shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. I mean, it's going to destroy you with a sword destruction. I mean, the sword destruction means you can't even figure out. You want to love the people that hate you. Come, come. You, you want to love the, the wicked land that the Lord said, you know, that, that is about things that are abominable unto him. You want to love it and say, hey, that's, that's part right. of life. Right. You know what I'm saying? The come, sword come. destruction. You want to love the people that hate you. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You want to join the people. that they, they telling you. We've been we've been emancipated over supposedly emancipated <laughs> um over um, 150 years. Right. And we still having first black this, first black that. There's okay. a problem. These people don't want you around. You. And when right. you love the people that don't want you around, I mean you people don't want you around them and you love them, I mean that's the sword of destruction. Come come. Sword of destruction. Right. Man, you know mean? Right. you just love you love your oppressor. Come on, come on. Hey, I don't want to. I think that's a perfect segue. Now, we got a few stories um, yeah. to get into, right? Okay. We got a few stories to talk about, but I think that's a perfect segue. Um, it's only if it's okay with you, Ottawa. Did you get? I sent you an article. Did you see the, the one about Eve? Yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, I think we should start with that. I know you had the one you sent me. We can do that one next, but let's start okay. with Eve. Because exactly. What you just said, how you just broke down that Micah 2010, it's so excellent. And compared to yeah. this, and, and by the way, the fact that her, her, her rap name is Eve is so, so, Ooh. so, like, <laughs> Ooh. on point. And, like, <laughs> you know, water to the most Man. high for making that the case. It makes it so much you easier. Know what I'm yeah. You understand? Whoa. Like, let me get this up on the screen. And never Man. mind what the article, uh, the, the article, how they, you know, word it. We're just going to go ahead and, um, yeah, and, and break it down. And I wanted everybody to see what's on the screen. So let me share this to lock you. Let me share my screen with everybody. Oh, we. There we go. Mm. It's th This is an article from blackenterprise.com. It says Eve gives birth to a beautiful baby boy. Wild Wolf Fife Alexander Summers Cooper. Oh, uh, this is this is rapper Eve with her, um, I think, billionaire or, or, or you know, 700 plus million dollar husband. And uh, that child right there is, of course, the child she just gave birth to. Uh, child's name is, was it Wild? Yeah. She named the child Wild. Wild okay. Wolf Fife Alexander Summers Cooper. Good right? Lord. Well, uh, uh, Salaki, <laughs> Salaki, I'm going to... He named him. Right. He Salakia. Salakia, sir. <laughs> you asked it right. He he named him this <laughs> ridiculous name, right? Uh this is a, this is Eve and her husband. His name is Maximilian Cooper. I mean, that just sounds like money bucks. Maximilian know, Cooper. Right. Uh, you know, and and, and I don't know this, this is something else. Salakia. Let me just call it to the, to the to the picture. I just want to talk about this because what I don't want to just said, right? Mm. And Michael 2 and 10. Where it says it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. And That's I don't want broken down so excellent to say that what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna join the people that want to kill you and destroy mm. you. That's yes. what you're gonna join. And we're looking at this image right here of this. This is the first lady of the Rough Riders. This is mm -hmm. Eve, you know what I'm saying? She was, you know, what I mean, from Philly, you know Lord. what I mean. Like she was just the most hood, and everybody, you know, you know, was, was so into her and everything. And now 
this is what she what she is. Now she's a mommy to a wild uh Fife Cooper or whatever the hell. You understand? Really? Really? Uh, what 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 do you make of this? What does this say about the condition of our people? Uh, you know, black women. What does this say about that? You understand? I mean, like, this this, tell, this, uh, this crushes us as a people. You know what I'm saying? Because why? You're just going to be a slave. I mean, right. you want to be a bed, you want to be a bed wench to an oppressor. You know what I'm saying? Now he got a slave girl. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, man. I mean, it, it's it's so insulting. You know? Come on, come on. Did this? Come on. You, your 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 upbringing is totally different. Your upbringing is totally different. You can't mm -hmm. even really just come on. You come together and talk. I mean, what can you talk about? <laughs> I mean, what's the conversation? Right. <laughs> I mean, damn. <clears throat> I mean, you from the hood. He's a, a billionaire. Right. You know, so you know, you know, she did it for money. We just set out. This is so sad, man. Oh, con, call con. Like, so sad. and it's it's th she thinks she just hey, I ain't worried about no niggas. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, shoot, I'm go ahead and marry this white man. You get, you got right. some money. Yeah, I want to uh -huh. be paid. I don't want to be broke. And look mm -hmm. at you. Look at you. And this is, I mean, this is oppression. This is remnants oh, of oppression. You know what I'm saying? Right. Did you feel that you got to go to the slave master and be be his bed wench? Right. And now you what, got a baby and everything. Oh, now she knows she paid. You know what I'm right. saying? Well, give me, give it about, uh, I would say, give it, let's say, um, she just gave birth. Give it about maybe, maybe a year if it's that long. Right. Well, she she might be filing for a divorce. Right. She might be filing for a divorce, you know, it, it, but it's but it's but it's so wicked because it's sinful. Call Khan. It's sinful that you, you even laid down with her. It's Con sinful. Con. This, 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 right. is what people don't, this is what we don't know. It's sinful that you laid down with them because she That's made right. a marriage. Sex is marriage in the Bible. That's unto the Lord, unto the most high God, sex is a marriage. So she laid down with him and married him, a heathen, which you're not supposed to do. Con of the one con. That's a heathen baby. Con con. That's a heathen baby. You know what I'm saying? But but I mean, it's it's terrible. It's terrible. It, and it's so uh, simple. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, got, I got a precept out of one. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Come on, come on. We're going to go to the book of Ezra. So like you. We're going to mm -hmm. go to the book of Ezra to show you, to prove to you again the Unplug from the Matrix podcast, as we continue to grow this platform, we're going to get better and better. We're going to add stuff. I hope I'm noticing some of the little changes we're making. Um, you know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to build it up. But we, remember that no matter what happens as we grow, we're always going to come back to this. This is what it mm -hmm. all comes back to. That's it. I, that's that's it. it. Everything that we say is in here. Every mm -hmm. single thing. Nothing we say is our opinion or what we feel or whatever. No. Everything that we talk about, we back it up with this Bible. You understand? So, yeah. so the other one just said, he just said that what he did is a sin and it's wrong according to the eyes of God. Mm -hmm. Because she's a black woman. She's an Israelite. Okay? And she laid down this Edomite. Okay? So now yeah. let's go to the book of Ezra. Salaki. Mm -hmm. Ezra chapter 9 and verse 12. Salaki. This is the book of Ezra. Chapter 9 and verse 12. And I hope y'all pay attention. Pay attention to what's in this scripture because, again, you'll see that what Captain Garwap said is absolutely everything he just said is in this scripture. This is the book of Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 12. Now, therefore, give not your daughters unto their sons. Mm. Neither take their daughters unto your sons. There it is. I mean, that, that's a law. That's a right. command from the Most High. You know what I'm saying? We're not just saying this stuff. I mean, it, it doesn't even matter what we think. Just being, being prophets of the Most High, it doesn't matter what I think. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do my father's will. And look, right. and brother, and brother, and if you could, now we, when we just read it. We just read it. You're not supposed to take your sons to them. You're not take your daughters to them. You're not supposed to marry them. Okay, we just read. Now, oh, hey, that, that, that's first address, right? Now that's this is in the book of Ezra. Ezra okay, Ezra. 9, 12. Come on, come on. okay, okay, okay. Most high, most high in Christ. <clears throat> now, let's go. It might be in Ezra, but now I'll tell you what where I, where I, what, what I really want to show it. 
Do I want to be a park for um first Ezra's? First Ezra's um nine and I believe it's eight. Come on, come. Because <clears throat> I, I just I just like the way it reads, you know. Come on, come on, sir. You know, come on, come on. and it's it's going right along with you. Yeah, of course, of course, Ezra and Ezra Seth goes right along together, you know. Come on, come on. <clears throat> this is the book of uh first Ezra, chapter nine and verse eight. And now by confessing. Give glory unto the Lord God of our fathers. Verse 9. And do his will and separate yeah. yourselves from the heathen of the land and mm -hmm. from strange women. Now, now, now look right there. Ezra was getting on Israel because we were marrying strange wives. You know what I'm saying? Right. People who were not of our race. We were landing right. with them and sex is marriage. So we were landing on having sex with heathen women. So he said we was increasing the sins of Israel. That's right. So now that's he said, give glory unto the Lord God of your fathers and do his will and that's separate. Right. I'm right. Now, now see you and you you can understand it. What Martin Luther King's dream was, it wasn't God's will. That's right. It wasn't God's will. It was the yeah. most high God's will was for us to separate. Is that's right. for us to separate. I shouldn't say was. Is oh for us to separate. Damn right. And look at her. She's proud to have a baby. What's his name? Wolf Gang or Wolf Boy? What uh -huh. is that? <laughs> what, I mean, what the hell is that? I mean, come on. Wolf, it's, it's Wolf Wild Fife. Good Lord. Something Wolf, Cooper. <laughs> is this so Wild crazy? Fife. Good Lord. <laughs> man, man, man. I guess she's going to train him to be a rapper. <laughs> Wolf wild fight. <laughs> Good <Right. Lord. laughs> I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, God. Man, um, man, look at them. They look, I mean, look at the couple. They are totally opposites. I mean, come on, man. Like, I don't want what you saying is so heavy. I mean, how could man. this be fun? I saw I saw a, a, a meme that said like something to the effect of <laughs> like the idea of being in a relationship with someone who is not allowed to use the N-word just doesn't sound <laughs> fun. How the hell you gonna be you 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 Eve the rapper? She, she was around DMX, she exactly. was around the locks, she was around yeah. you know what I'm saying, drag on Come around on. all these these great rappers. She's yeah. from Philly, you know. What I mean, I didn't she didn't been around a lot of talented, uh uh, you know what I'm saying, and and, and respectable, at least in their field, black men. True. And you mean to tell me that after all of that, you end up with some cat named Maximilian? I mean, come on. <laughs> like, how? How does this work? If, if I could, I don't want and mm. I want to just uh, finish Ezra real quick. There's something in here real, real pertinent to what you said. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Go and ahead, brother. and, and that, that's heavy on this topic, man. And what I don't want is saying is so, so righteous and so on point. Because this right here is a lack of integrity. That's what this yeah. is about. This is a yeah. complete and utter lack of integrity because as the auto wants, yeah. she's most likely doing it for money. That means that yep. she laid in that bed, but she really is married because we know that sex is marriage. She yeah. laid in that bed and let that dog get on top mm. of her and do all sorts of things to make a baby so she can get mm. money. Like, mm. it, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, but but if you call it prostitution, you would be wrong when really yeah. that's, that's that's what it is. That's you what know what I'm is. saying? Let, let, me, let me read this, Salaki, real quick. The book of Ezra, chapter 9, and verse 12. Now, therefore, give not your daughters unto their sons, neither take their daughters unto your sons, nor seek their peace or their wealth forever, mm. oh. that ye may be strong, Salaki, that ye may be strong and eat the good of the land and leave it for an inheritance to your children forever. The, the Most High never wanted us to join with the oppressor. Not even for his wealth. He told us not to seek Ooh. after his wealth. Not to try to get his riches. Not try to be peaceful with him. No, we're supposed to do our own thing. He can, he can be as rich as he want to be, have as much money as he wants to be. But the dignity that God taught us is that we're yeah. not supposed to join with these with these people. We're not going to join. Come on, man. Come on, man. Brother, brother, brother. So lock it come, on. Come, come, come on, come on. It said don't seek their wealth. Damn right. Don't seek the wealth, and that's what she's seeking. She, when oh, she, boy, when she met him, she was seeking his wealth. That's right. 
That's all. That's she's right. seeking as well. You know what I'm saying? So no, she God. can forever be covered. And, and, she, and now she is. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, it, I mean, it's it's such a, ugh, it's terrible. Yeah, that's, ugh, that's the best. The best way we can describe it is, ugh, uh, don't yeah. do this. It's very yeah. disgusting and very yeah, yeah. weird. Yeah, he's, he's covered forevermore now because he, like God, I said, he's, he's, he's a billionaire or millionaire. Is he a billionaire? I think he's a billionaire. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, he's he, so she's she don't have to worry about anything, you know what I'm saying? No, no. She don't have to worry about anything, but it's sinful. Maximilian that's Cooper, the that's the sad part about what we miss. That's what Christianity, Martin Luther King, the civil rights movement, all that garbage done to our people, you know. Because all, I mean, what now? What Connerly? She's okay, right? Boy, but man, in the realm of the Most High, spiritually, she is dead. Con, I don't want Con. She done something Con. real so evil, so evil right. unto the Most High. Then now you making his, his nation stronger. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the man carries the seed. The seed That's carries right. on through the male child. That's right. Now you had a white baby. That white baby right. is going to grow up and have to give his wealth to white people. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, come on. She, I mean, you made such a mistake. Come on, come on. You know what I'm saying? And now if anything happens and she breaks up or they, they have a divorce, you're going to have a parade of Negro women. Talking about, yeah, yeah, she knows what she was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's getting that money now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's sinful. Yeah, it's sinful. It's disgusting. I don't want it. And I, I just read he's actually not even that rich. He's rich. He has over like 50 million, 60 million dollars, okay. but he's not a billionaire. So, you okay. know, you're probably right. I don't want you probably going to divorce him and, and um, yeah, you know, yeah. try to take half. But, um, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Like, if I may, I don't want, we, we can go ahead and you know, th that, that's the end of now. We'll, we'll follow up if anything, but just, yeah, exactly. just we don't can, we can really drop it. That's just that's just, that's yeah. our shame, disgusting. You know? That's our shame, you know. We just, oh, I mean, come on, man. That's that's our sister, and she just through bad, sad leadership, through bad exactly. leadership, you know, she joined with the oppressor, and boy, and it's upsetting unto the Most High God. Come, come, so <laughs> yeah, we go got, ahead, uh, come, come. We got our uh, officer of a thousand ayahs. Ah, I believe is, is, is ready to join us. Let me oh, get most him. High God. There we go, Most High Christ. Hey, most High Christ. What's going on? I want you to me after you Hey, so, so I'm only hearing you with my uh on my on my left. Can you hear me now? Yeah, he can't I hear you. You kind of low. You kind of low. Yeah, huh? I, I I hear you, but it's only coming in on a, a pause on the left side. That's what I'm saying. I don't want. I hear you though. Okay, come. Come. I hear you. You're louder now. Still on this side, but loud enough that I can hear you. There's no sweat. Come. On, I hear him. I hear him. Yeah. No sign, Christ. Come on, one. Come. How, how's everything, sir? I'm too up. I'm too up. I mean, I've been back and forth with the, with the devils. I'm trying to make the stream go out live and on time, but now it's in the stream. Come, come. Come, come. Good night. No sweat. We're going to keep rocking. Hear me, hear me in, in HD quality now. There you go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, most, most high, high in Christ. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, yeah, give it up, man. Give it up, man. Sorry for the late uh, come in. You know what I mean? To water to uh, prison officer uh, Salakia. Priest and captain. You got to up. You know what I mean? 10,000. Uh, prison officer, 500. Tabo one, Yahawada. I haven't worn this in a while, so I'm just trying to you know, like follow the little drip of my brother Tabo <laughs> one. You know, he always got his war scarf right. on, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I had to try it out today. <laughs> Most high in Christ. So, um, you know what I mean? To water, again, everybody for joining us on Plug from the Matrix. I'm just sliding in, you know what I mean? Pause. So, uh, <laughs> y'all can continue. Um, on, if you, if you, um, you, you got the ability, I saw you put up the stuff on the screen, so if you yes, could do sir. that for today, because I didn't mm -hmm. get a chance to um, really set it up properly. I was more trying to set up the billing stuff. Come know? on, come on, So, so come if on. you could, to water. Come on, come on. No sweat, no sweat. Don't want. We're going to go uh, on to the next uh, topic real quick. We'll mm -hmm. probably run a promo about mm, about 25 minutes or so and get into mm -hmm. the last couple of things. But, oh, uh, thank, thank you. Thank you for that saying one. that. I got I got a couple of Passover promos that I'm going to queue up right now. So I'll be right back, okay? Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Go ahead and handle it. Come on, come on, sir. The water, I don't want. And Most the Christ. 
So, uh, Cap, you you had a story that you sent me, all right? And and, and I'll, I'm not too familiar with exactly what took place and what happened, but let me let me get it up on the screen and I'll, I'll read the article as well. Okay. Just a moment. And again, the water to everybody that's tuning in. To everybody that's tuning into the live, man, make sure y'all like. Let me get that on the screen as well. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to the Unplugged for the Matrix podcast. Uh, we right now we're broadcasting. So we're trying to grow the channel. We're broadcasting from about five different uh, channels. We're broadcasting uh, from uh, Ayala Benjamin Wolf uh, Facebook, Unique Styles Facebook, our own Unplugged from the Matrix Facebook. We're broadcasting from the Unplugged from the Matrix YouTube channel, and of course, we're broadcasting from the KR One Forty Four twitch account which is also our uh unplugged from the matrix twitch account we're on all these platforms so again if you're watching on youtube and you also have a facebook make sure you go follow us and like us on facebook if you have a facebook and uh you're not following us on twitch make sure you hop over to twitch you know what i'm saying do the same thing uh like and subscribe and all of those things all right so lucky now here we go let me copy this boom boom Boom. Oh, sign Christ. Okie dokie. All right, other one. So, so what we got here seems like we got a um, a, a situation in, right in your backyard, mm-hmm. in, in Oklahoma City, where Captain of uh, uh, Ten Thousand Year Girl Wap is broadcasting from, in Oklahoma. Okay. As we said, also the Unplugged from the Mission podcast is, is broadcasting from North Carolina and from Oklahoma. Okay. So it says here, get this up on the screen. So, Lucky, my, my, my computer is acting a little funky today, but it's no sweat, not a problem. There we go. It says, demolition begins as smoke still pours from burned luxury apartment complex. So, Lucky, let me scroll down. See, they got a bunch of ads and all of this stuff. Yeah, I may not. Takes up all of the bandwidth. Okay, it says uh, for a third day, smoke can be seen building from a destroyed luxury apartment in Oklahoma City. Around 7 p.m. on Tuesday, Oklahoma City firefighters were called uh, were called a fire at the Canton at Clawson Curve, a five-story apartment building near Northwest 63rd and Western. Again, this is a very large complex that is being built. When we got here, there was basically smoke on the roof and a small amount of fire when we first arrived. But what we realized was the roofing material is a rubberized roofing material that basically it doesn't go out well with water. Said uh, Battalion Benny Fulkerson with the Oklahoma City Fire Department. At one point, the blaze was classified as a five alarm fire. Okay, mm-hmm. so 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 what what what's where is this building, Ottawa? What's uh, what's the deal with this? Man, this building, this building, they've been building it for two years. Mm-hmm. It's two years in the making. They started building on in, in, in 2020. Mm-hmm. So now this building um was um 400 400,000 square feet. Mm-hmm. 400,000 square feet, 300. I think after I believe they said it this morning it was, it was going to be like something like 350 units. No, 320. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, 300 something units. You know what I'm saying, and and like I said, the, and the rent was going to be like from starting at like eleven hundred to four thousand dollars a month. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be, it's going to be high rent for, for for Oklahoma. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, come on. But um, you know what I'm saying, and six sixty five. It, the cost was it was sixty five million. Mm-hmm. Wow, sixty five million dollars. Yes, and it caught them. Like I said, they caught on fire and it burned down. And like I said, it's it's like. It's crazy because it's like um all the evil that goes on in Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. All the evil that goes on in Oklahoma. Like I said, they just killed like two brothers, you know, two brothers, the, the Grants, the Grants, John Grant, and then Donald oh, Grant. Like, you know what I'm saying? And both of them had mental problems. Oh, and you put, them, you put them both, you put them both to death. And so I'm saying it's like the Lord is like judging Oklahoma for their evilness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And what you have in Oklahoma, what you have in Oklahoma, you have the rich and the poor. You don't have no so-called middle class. You have the rich and the poor. You know what I'm right. saying? And so the rich get richer and the poor gets poor. You know what I'm saying? So the rich right. have this big complex. You know what I'm saying? 
-hmm. building it for two years. Two years they've been building it for two years. It was finally supposed to open on March 1st. Come on, come on. Next month, next, the first of next month, it was supposed to open. Come on, come on. And you saw what the Lord did. He burned uh, it. He, he burned it to the ground. I mean, yeah, it was like right. what's left of it, they just they just got to knock it down. To. They just got to destroy it. Demolition team landing already. So, so, so Ottawa, so what you what you telling me then? This is what you telling me that mm -hmm. in Oklahoma City, in a place where black people are absolutely struggling. Where mm -hmm. black people are are dying and getting you know murdered, you know what I mean by co by a corrupt legal system and a corrupt court system, a corrupt mm -hmm. judicial system. They're getting killed even though they have documented mental uh, uh, illnesses and disabilities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're telling me that in the midst of all of that, they had time to try to build to take sixty five million dollars, U S yeah. dollars, greenbacks. They had time to to take that and attempt. To build some luxury apartments that, of course, black people cannot afford to live in. Exactly. Exactly. And, this, and what you're looking at right now, you said, I want this is the result. This is the Lord showing you that he cares about black people way more yeah. than you ever, than, than, than you taught us. The Lord damn, cares damn about right. black suspense. So, so like, if I may, if I may, Bobby, I get it most high, uh, a strong round of applause. Damn That's right. what we need to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's for George Floyd and and, and and Breonna Taylor. That's that's for you know I mean countless of other things that has been done to all people in this captivity. You know what I mean? That's right. Let the Lord show His face on the earth for the evil that has been done to exactly. all people. You know what I mean? That's right. So like, exactly. I, I just wanted to add that. That's beautiful to me. I'm gonna have a drink. I'm gonna have a drink. <laughs> but look and let, let's check this out, Akin. When they had no pictures like. This, Early, like some earlier pictures of the fire, she went to the, uh, the, the fire hoses are uh, pouring water into them fire. Mm -hmm. It was an amazing shot. I wish I could have got it on film. It was an amazing shot on the news. Two two um fire engines had their hoses up high, mm. pouring, pouring water on the fire, and the fire was not going out. I mean, oh, so, uh, it was, a, it was an amazing shot. Look at this. Uh, this is amazing. This is, you see that? It's collapsing. Oh, yes. wait. Yes. Oh, yep. man. Yes. Yeah. Two years in the making. They've been working on this building two years. So, you know, the structure was strong. Right. You know, they've been building for two years and it was opening on, on next month, the first of next month. Good. You know, Not. But, but like I said, it was that, that shot was amazing. You know, it was the most hot. Come Two, on. Pouring, I mean, you pouring water strong down on the fire, and the fire was not going out. Good night. And it was like the water wasn't even touching the fire. <laughs> yeah. hey, uh, hey, Ottawa, yeah, you, ain't, oh, you, don't, you don't got no uh, sound, no sound effects today, right? You could have put mm. that excellence, that, that, that more combat. <laughs> I got you. I'm, I'm going to try something. No sweat. That would have been wonderful. You know what I'm saying? And all, all the evil that they do. You know what I'm saying? So like yeah, I said, they, they want to build, they want to build up if, if you could um, pull on um, um Malachi one and four. That's Come perfect. On. Come you know, on, they think they're gonna build up. They think they're gonna build up, you know, but the Lord Come said he's gonna tear it down. And it's right That's near right. the Bible. <laughs> Come on. Right. The book of Malachi, chapter one and verse four. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. But we will return and build the desolate places. Mm. Thus Man. say the Lord of hosts. It's like, sir. No, no, no. That that's the same. He said, look, easy to where's Edom? Edom, the oppressor, the so-called white man, he's going to return and rebuild the desolate places. All the places need build up, he's going to build it up. You know what I'm saying? He's going to live in it. He's going to build big old luxury, luxury apartments like this. Mm -hmm. You know? But read on, brother, because it says, Thus saith the Lord. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, come on. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down. Mm, good Lord. Man, most high in Christ. <laughs> I, 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 let me see if I can get a picture. I wish I would have left that video up there because that's perfect to go with that. I don't want to lock you. Good night. Let me read that again. I don't want to lock you. <laughs> Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, 
but I will throw down. Mm -hmm. Man, throw down. he's going to throw down. You know what I'm saying? He's going to build it. I'm saying, this, and this is all vengeance for his people, for his children. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, we. this is why in Ask You If You Can, the commander during Hollywood, we tell you you don't have to go and get guns and fight the, the oppressor. Because the most okay. high is going to keep you that they get. And you know what I'm That's saying? Right. And, I, and I like the most high's odds. <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know You know what I'm saying? Man. Oh, God. He, like, you know, ven his vengeance. His vengeance. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And oh, see, why they, they, they think they're going to do things to us and destroy us, and what? And then they're going to live. Then they're just going to go and live. Hey, Salah, give me one more. Give me one more. Oh, God, give me Job 20 and 23. Come on, come on, sir. Yeah, I know. I love, I love John. Come on, come on. Job chapter 20. I love that. That's the destruction of the oppressor. But right here, Job on 20 and 23 tells them, tells you about what how they want to just sit back and live after they didn't destroy us. Come on, come on. This is come on, come on. This is the book of Job, chapter 20 and verse 23. When he is about to fill his belly. Hey, Salakia, so brother, I've been started 22. Come on, come on. The book of Job, chapter 20 and verse 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in the great. 144. Kaboom Radio. Radio. The realest radio station on the planet. I like everyone, the, the promo is running through the... I can hear it. But I can't hear you, other one. No, so I think I think he's working on something. It's all good. The book of Job, chapter 20 and verse 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand mm. of the wicked shall come upon him. Mm. This is telling you, in the fullness of his sufficiency, you know, where he's doing good, every hand of the wicked is going to be upon him. You know what I'm saying? That means like of them, that means like terrorist acts. Oh, those things are things that's going to go against the oppressor's kingdom. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying other crazy, other crazy people. I mean, you know, terrorists come going on. to come against him. You know, he's going to be in come come you know come. It's lovely to see. You're going to have come. white and white crime. You have right. people storming the Capitol. You know That's what I'm right. saying? In the fullness of his sufficiency, where he's doing good, where he's doing great, and robbing every other country around the planet. Right. That's right. Read on, brother. Come come. Verse twenty three. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. Right. Mm. Man. Look, and read, read on, brother, because I like this come, part. Come on. And shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Mm. While he's enjoying it. Good Lord. Mm. While, he try, while he's trying to enjoy the even the, the fruits of his evil. That's right. Why he, he sit there and do all? He think he's going to build a nice apartment complex in Oklahoma City. And it's going to be beautiful and wonderful. After you didn't put men to death on death row to have mental illnesses. That's right. So like I say, if I may, have a good show. Hey, what's that? I, 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 so like I say, if I may, I, I don't mean to cut you off, sir. What you're saying is so so powerful because, you know, what I mean, not even just the, the recent events of the brothers that were put on death row. Yeah. They bombed Tulsa, Oklahoma. God. That's right. So take that. Damn right. Take, take that. You know what I mean? Take that. that that's God. what the Lord have for y'all because of what y'all did. Exactly. That, that's it. Sir. That's it. Exactly. And, and they ate the water too. The water too. Because that goes right along with the, all the evilness that they do. You know right. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Those people, those people are still there. <laughs> those that's right. people. Then we understand reincarnation in the Bible. Right. But you think those same people are not are gone somewhere? Those same wicked racist people that built that condo. I mean, the Slocky, those apartments. You know what I'm saying? That went down there and bombed Tulsa, Oklahoma, you know, in the, in the 20s. Those same, I guarantee you, those same people could connect it with the people building the apartment complex. You know what I'm saying? So now they want to feel they want to build up their nice apartment complex. And now, good look at it. It's rubble, just like on um, Black Wall Street was. That's right. <laughs> just like Black Wall good, Street was. Right. It's rubble. You know what I'm saying? Man, oh, man, that's why. Right when they were ready to enjoy it, 
I mean, the scripture said he going the most high is going to cast his spirit upon him. You know why he is eating? That means when he's enjoying it, trying to he's getting ready to open. They were supposed to open on March the first. Look at it now. Look at it now. It's supposed to open on March the first. Look at it now. Hmm. It's rubble. Good. That's right. Like <laughs> And it's going to be more. It's going to be more destruction that the Lord is going to, you know, going to that's, do. That looks beautiful, beautiful, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna take because, another drink. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> what y'all saying is so so heavy, man. You know, if, 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 if I may, real quick, just you know, Come on, it, it's so heavy because, like, we just talked about as the Ottawa perfectly opened the show. We're talking about like a two and ten as we always do, and how it leads you, you know what I'm saying, thinking that this is your arrest is gonna believe make you you it's gonna destroy you. It's gonna destroy mm. you with a sore destruction. And then you see Eve joining her oppressor. Eve wanted mm. to join the same people that bombed Tulsa, Oklahoma. She wanted mm. to join the same people that destroyed Rosewood. She from Philadelphia, she wanted to just uh join the same people, you know what I'm saying, that that blew up them brothers and sisters on that on, in, in that house. You know what I'm saying? Back in, I think, in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She want to join those people. Meanwhile, in the ISUPK, we see this and we say, Baraka Thayahawa, Wayahawa Shai. This yeah. is glorious in the sight of the Most High for them, for, for their uh, uh, infrastructure and their buildings and everything that they got going on to completely uh, turn to ash. I'm I'm happy mm -hmm. to see it. I'm happy to yeah. see it. Most yes. of Christ. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 Mm -hmm. Man. So that's that, that 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 that's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's beautiful to see that. That's beautiful, man. Come you know? on, I mean, right now, we're even getting ready to open though. That's that's the thing, man. The most right. the most high is amazing the way he does things. Right when they're ready, right. right they ready to open, right when they're ready, they ready to reap. I mean, they ready to reap all the money. Mm -hmm. they, man, it's burned to the ground. Burned to the ground. Sixty-five million dollars. Yeah. Down the drain, man. It's beautiful. Most high guys, Khan. Damn right. All right, we gonna keep. We gonna keep going, man. We we we, yeah. we appreciate it. everybody tuning in. Let me do a quick little roll call for everybody that's tuning in, man. Shout out to Yosef Israel. Long, right. how about you? What's going on? Officer yeah. 15, the Pashka, yeah, what's going on, bro? You how about Shamal Shah, bro? Shalom, sister, just a Kazakh, we nah. Shalom, you how about Shamal Shah, my guy. Yeah. Newly raised up officer Pagaibawa. I, I swear, bro, we got the best name. I can't get over the brother having that name, right? Shout out to my brother Pagaibawa up there uh, on the Captain Mashak, on the Captain Mashak out there in DC. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who we got right here? Uh, we got uh, Rendell Karamia Al Jones. What's going on? Shalom, we got my red princess, love y'all. Shalom, sis. Uh, oh, of course, I'm my Ottawa officer of a thousand, Zayanya Allah. What's going on? Sir? How about now, Shah Baraka? Ah, hey, uh, I don't want. I think we, we want to run a quick promo. Or we want to keep going. What you want to do? Quick commercial. I can't. I can't hear you, other one. Yeah, we can't hear you. Okay. <coughs> no, no, sir. I, I, I think I got an affirmative from you, though. I got you. I, got you. I see. Ah, what now doing. I hear you. Yeah, I yeah. see what you saw doing. That's fine. All right, so let's let's run the promo again. Two other for everybody, you know. what I'm saying joining us from uh, um, um today on Unplugged from the Matrix, you know. What I mean, Commanding General Yahana has raised up a lot of brothers in the earth, you know. What I mean, right now to bring this knowledge to you. So instead of clicking on the porn site, you know, what I mean, Come click on. on the link when you see it pop up on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. By the way, we have the premium package, so we stream to uh, at least eight destinations simultaneously. Right That's now, right. we're doing five. You know what I mean? We're going to get all the bells and whistles sorted out. You know what I mean? And then, you know what I mean? You'll know what's going on. So in the meantime, there's a, a, a serious, um, how to say, event about to happen. <laughs> you all know what that is. Come on, come on. You're about to run the new one, right? I don't yeah, want the Fist of Perim. Yes. Go. We're, going, we're going straight into that right now. Hey, Shalom, y'all Bashmesh, y'all Brakata, y'all Shamalatan, Bashmesh. Hey, listen, check this out. Commanding General Yahana will be teaching the class live on Monday, 14th February 2022 in Philadelphia. Listen, he's going to be breaking down the Fist of Perim. 
as it was meant to be broken down, you know what I mean? Listen, the Fist of Purim is a very important part of our lives as blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. And Commanding General Yohanna is going to be breaking it down all the way flat for all people, you know what I mean? That's Monday, 14th February, 2022 in Philadelphia. It's going to be uh, 41 Garrett Road, Upper Derby, PA, you know what I mean? You can't miss it. We going live. Join us, Commanding General Yohan. Home of the troops, the original zone, 1969. The game is afoot. Let's get it on. Preaching proper to the Lord. Gotta teach this beat. It's spoken all the lies with the truth. Now they can see the evil. We the lost children of the Lord. Y'all should holler. Chopping heads off with my sword. Holy Bible, one west, one west, one west, one west. Most High Christ, welcome back. Kaboom bang. Okay. Y'all go ahead, brother. I'm excited, man. I'm excited for okay. a lot of things. And I'm Love disappointed about a lot of things, you know. No sweat. Um, where we at? How many stories did we did we cover? We covered two so far. We got we, we got a lot. Um, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to touch on again going up to join with the oppressor. Uh we got a story. We just left the story in Oklahoma City. Let's talk about the one you sent me out of one in, uh, out in Raleigh. Right. The gentrification. Let's, let's talk about that real quick. Come on. Come on. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, you, you already got it loaded up? No, I'm just trying to the strap. I got it. Get it together. I got it. I got it. Yeah, so, uh, if anybody's been paying attention to what's been going on, man, the like oppression is get is <laughs> never rest. And again, as we continue to believe in the American team and that, you know, we're gonna get it together and all will be well, and all you gotta do is work hard. America does more and more things to prove and just show who what it really is, okay? So right, right now, the inflation <laughs> of America has reached 40%. That's its highest in I don't in like decades. You understand? It's 40%. So that's why you're seeing prices on a lot of things look absolutely different. And also why you see some of the jobs are offering, you know, you, it looks like they're offering you more money, right? They're not really paying you more because it's inflation, okay? Everything is more expensive. So the fact that McDonald's is paying you $12 an hour is almost irrelevant because of how expensive everything is. Right. And right now, where me and our uh, officer uh, of a thousand hours of odd, where we stay at North Carolina, right now North Carolina has one of, if not the highest, um, the rate of, of rent increases right now in the country. Certainly one of them. It's growing at a, a rate faster than the national average. Okay? Yeah. And what this is doing, what this is doing, we're going to see right here, is further disenfranchising. You guessed it. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Right. Okay. So, so let me let me get this up here on the screen. Uh, uh, and Tabo, if I may, say like a cap. You wanted to say something before I, I, I say I say what I'm about to say. No, 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 no. I'm going, going, man. I'm taking it in, man, man. That's it. Right. Two out of two out of sir. And and, and Tabo, you you hit the nail on the head because at the end of the day, all of these policies and laws and all of these things, they're really just targeting us, man. Don't That's let right. Nobody fool you. You know what I mean? Damn right. You, you you decide you want to chill on the side of the road with your homeboys after work. They're gonna create a law so you can't do it. That's right. But then but then th th these little you know what I'm saying rich cracker little boys will walk up or down the place and chill wherever they want, ride all on the road on the sidewalk with the ATVs. You know what I mean? And there are no laws. But you just That's sit right. on the side of the road or you know what I mean in a neighborhood. There's gonna be a, a, a no vagrancy law, or no uh, um. How to call it? The uh, new right. loitering law, all kinds of stuff. You got to get a job law. It, everything is, is set up for us. That's and right. I to fail. Damn you know right. I mean? Damn I mean, right. Your, your Christian, our, our black leaders. I, 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 in my blood curls every time I talk about these Negroes. You know what I'm saying? Like they are the ones who right up there with the oppressor. That's you right. know what I mean? They are the one tasting what he ate last night, this morning. Right. Good night. You know what I mean? Come on. Why we suffering? Salah. That's right. Come on, come on. I'm gonna um I'm gonna share this video. Let's let's see what what this uh what this video is talking about. I'll probably just scroll through it a little bit. Salakia. 
Let's see. Just a second. Yeah, don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Even if even if you got a pay increase of, of two dollars or three dollars. You know right. what I'm saying? That don't mean nothing. Oh you know why? Because your rent just went up $80. That's right. right. So what are we talking about? Right. You know what I mean? Come on, come on. Damn right. No, no sweat. So let's 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 see this video. So lucky. Bear with me. Here's East College Park was a historically black neighborhood, an affordable place to live for low-income residents. It has felt and looks and feels dramatically different than it did just a decade hey, ago. So like, pause, 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 this, pause this video. Neighbors. Oh, that investment. Yeah, uh, so, so like here. Bring uh, slide that thing back and bring that brother back on the screen for me, Baba Gusha. Oh, Welcome. Yeah, pause it. Pause Park it right there. To water. L look at this, brother. <laughs> look at us and look at this brother right here. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just straight up. Like, look at him and look at us. This is what your Christian pastor looks like. Most of your politicians, most of the black leaders. That's what they look like. God. Young girls, no beard, hardly any eyebrows, bald headed, <laughs> trying to speak proper. God. If you say, if you say crib, they'll say, "Why are you saying crib? Why don't you just say house?" <laughs> Nigga, my crib. <laughs> you know what I mean? My whip. I'm gonna make some cheese today. That's all we talk. That's us. That's all flavor. These niggas, these niggas are the reason why we're in the conditions we are in. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Come. Come. These niggas are worse. I'm telling you. I, I, I can guarantee he's a Christian. No doubt about it because he's not in the UPK. Come. That's right. Second of all, I, I, I can guarantee, well, I don't want to put my name on that, but don't quote me for it, but... <laughs> 99.9% .9 of the time you see a nigga like this, he have a dog. He have Lassie in his bed. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, come on, God. It's lucky, I, the, sad, the, sad, the sad part about it is his father probably was like that. His <laughs> grandfather probably was like that. <laughs> I mean, this is, remnant, this, this is remnants of Martin Luther King's dream. Right. Remnants of all the marching of the 60s, you know what I'm saying? Getting beat in the head on the bridge of Selma, right. you know what I'm saying? This is remnants of it, and we turned out like this far away from following our most far the most high, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Destroy <laughs> this is destroyed. This is the story. This is the man, look, this is what this Micah 2 and 10. This is the sword destruction. He thinks he's made it, he thinks that hey, I'm doing the right things. Hey, now I got my job. Now I'm talking just like the oppressor. You know what I'm saying? I got my beard, everything shaved off. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. This is a, I mean, this is it's terrible. It's terrible. This is. This is. If I may, if I may, sir, the, the reason why I brought brought this out is because I want to show a clear distinction. There, 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 there ain't no thin line. There is a huge gap. <laughs> between real men and men like these. That's you know it. what I'm saying? And he's an example of what black men should never be. Mm -hmm. I don't know the brother. Mm -hmm. But just by looking at him, I can see that, you know what I mean, the pork grease all on his on his forehead, you yeah. know what I mean, in the corner of his nose. You can see it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. he's, he's going to say something that in essence, because he's a black face, we should be like, oh, wow, that's what's going on. Now, nah, yeah. Get in class. Come. Find an ISUPK school near you and get your mind right. Because this whole gentrification stuff, I seen it firsthand. Top of one, you know what I'm talking about. You know what we're oh, saying. We seen it firsthand in Durham, in North yeah. Carolina. Yeah. We seen it right. firsthand. Like we were right, we right there seeing the changes happening right before our eyes. And nobody can tell us about it. And we know also that what we're saying is the truth. That niggas like this nigga giving this report is the reason why we've been gentrified. That's yep. right. So lucky, I'm off of it. Go ahead, Tabo. Oh, let's, let, let, let's, yeah, let's see a little bit of what um, Joel is talking about. So lucky. <laughs> what, what my brother say? What did um, the five fingers say to the face? <laughs> 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 
Here's College Park was a historically black neighborhood, an affordable place to live for low-income residents. It has felt and looks and feels dramatically different than it did just a decade ago. Lots of new homes, lots of new neighbors, and a lot of that investment has been a concerted effort by the city and local nonprofits to keep this an affordable community. Even so, the headwinds of Wake County's booming real estate market have some feeling pushed out. Is it diverse? Yes, our neighborhood is diverse. It's been three years since Wanda Hunter and her three children moved into this brand new home in College Park. She's a Raleigh native who knows our peaceful stroll down Maple Street tonight would have been different 10 years ago. We wouldn't be out here standing out here filming this right now. The reputation of this particular neighborhood was not good, and it was crime ridden, um, a lot of drug activity. <laughs> Now, Maple Street and its surrounding blocks are a steady buzz of home construction with a steady stream of new residents. Are you in the market for an affordable so like, Damn commercials, but no sweat. Come Here's what I have, I have a question for the uh, auto one. So, on. and I, I, before, you, before you ask the question, I, I want to I want to thank Officer Yanazar, Officer 50, for sending me this story. That's an excellent oh, story right there. You know what I mean? Yeah, Exposing right. what's going on in our, 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 our home state, you know what I mean, where we live. So like oh, come on. No, my, my question is, is they usually frame the whole gentrification argument they frame it around mm -hmm. well we're trying to clean up the area uh we want to you know it used to be crime ridden so how could it be a bad thing that there's no longer any crime there how could it be a bad thing you know that now people feel safe walking outside of their houses or walking down the block what are you out of one what do y'all say to that like what what you know, what's the response? What, what are they really saying with that? You know what I mean? And, and what does it really mean for those people who are actually being pushed out of their neighborhoods at the end of it all? Mm. So like a cop, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you go first, sir. So it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> when my sister and herself, she get pushed out of her house. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We were living, I was living in D.C., you know, and um, right after I left and moved down here, you know what I'm saying, she lost her house. Mm. In uh, uptown in DC, up in the Northwest, Washington, DC. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And it's like it's terrible because it's like um why it's happening, you like, wait a minute, where do these white people come from? Right. You know what I'm saying? In in the neighborhood we lived in, my um my aunt, my one of my um great um aunts, you know. They moved in, they moved in. They were like the first black people on that street, on, thir on that right. 13th street in Washington, D.C., right? Then it was like, because my uncle, my uncle, she, she was married to this light-skinned brother. Mm -hmm. So there's a light-skinned brother, and then there was another light-skinned brother across the street. So they were the two black people on the, the, the first two black people on that street, on that 13th street in D.C. You know, wow. So over the years, it turned over to the black people, and then white people started moving back. You know, gentrification, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Then, so, so, I mean, you know, it's crazy because it's like, <clears throat> you know, it, because it's like, they like, they look at you like, they, I mean, the oppressor is so evil. They look at you like, why are you still here? Right. Like, it's not even your hood. Why are you still here? You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, they are, the, it's terrible. It's terrible. Cold, you know huh. what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, like going through that, going just watching the neighborhood change and stuff like that. I mean, it's madness. It's madness. Uh, uh, and then it's like, they sit there and treat you like you don't belong. And then look, once they get there, you know, they doing all stuff. Like, you see the, um, on, uh, like, the 4th of July. They, the main people lighting the fireworks, you know, they're, they're, they're supposed to be illegal. <laughs> mm -hmm. They light them in the streets and stuff. You know what I'm saying? They light them in the streets. I mean, it's like, like, D.C. is, like, all together different. You know what I'm saying? Oh, when, I go, when I go there now, and it's like, it's crazy. It's madness. Oh, the places that used to be all black, now mm -hmm. you get so many white people, man. I can remember right. walking I can remember walking down um, down there on Eastern Market. I can remember walking in Eastern Market. I seen crack houses with a bed, a bed, a bed mattress. A mattress from a bed for the door. Mm -hmm. So I was 14 years old going to summer job. Walking down into mm. like dag, you know, crack houses everywhere. But now, so, those same neighborhoods, hey, Salaki, 
So, so like I say, if I may, Baba Kasha, listen, and, and this is why we in the UPK, we know the Gun. 12 tribes of Israel. Gun. We know who we are. Gun. I lived in the Virgin Islands and I saw the exact same thing you just described Gun. in the Virgin Islands in the Caribbean. Gun. So Gun. No sweat. No sweat. A whole mattress for your door. Uh-huh. Yeah. Gun. 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 And see, and see then they're like going through looking at that. And then like you going in that, that same place right now, you got white people in restaurants eating outside. Right. right. Eating outside, and it's like, hey. This is our place. This is ours That's now. Right. You know That's what I'm right. saying? And because like my sisters, they like they do hair, right? So she said one of their to get one of their friends to call and ask about DC. So one of their friends like was one of them you know, college um, college people, you know, and can really disguise a voice as an Edomite. Mm -hmm. So they started talking like, well, how is it? Um, are any black people down there? And they said, well, the black people you know what this um real estate person said a white real estate person said. He said, "Well, there, it's a little, it's a little bit of them there, but hey, they're moving out. Yeah, we're taking it back. Wow, so, so they're taking the city back. <laughs> wow. You know wow. what I'm saying? Why, why don't they? Why don't? So like I said, so like this what goes on. I'm just saying this what goes on. And what they, if you plug into the matrix, you're not going to see it. Damn right. Yeah, man, man, come on, you're not going to see it. I mean, but this is what happened. What's happening? You know what I'm saying? Right. They looking to annihilate us off the planet." That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, go ahead, um, brother. What you was bringing up? Yeah, yeah, calm, calm. I, I, I was just saying, mm. this, this is, this is very important. What Cap is saying because calm, you calm. know, when, when we, when we pay attention to what everybody else got going on, mm -hmm. what's happening to us, gets swept under the rug so easily. Sure. You know what sure. I mean? And pacified by our so-called leaders. You know, uh -huh. what I mean, this is why it is, it is very is it, listen. It, I might sound like a broken record every time I come on here, but it is very important that brothers and sisters find an ISUPK school near you. Uh -huh. Get in class. At least, at least, just try to understand what we're saying. You, you, you may not agree with everything, but just sit down in the class for ninety days and and get your mind right. Understand uh -huh. what is actually going on in your reality. In, in the real reality, not no fictional thing that has been pushed on you by Dwayne Wade. You know what I mean? Right. By, 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 uh, help me out, brothers. Give me some more. Because uh, Will Smith, Smith, Will Smith, he's a real goat, like a <laughs> Billy goat. You know what I mean? Um, um, who else? Help me out. My, Michael, um, what was his name? Um, that dude with the AIDS. Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson. Yeah. I did a video. On my um uh mind tonic um, um um YouTube channel by the way you all <laughs> shameless plug go check that out mind tonic you know what I mean unlock your mind you know what I mean <laughs> you have a whole son a male ma a dude and he's like six eight <laughs> yeah it's terrible. it's terrible listen a lot of sisters looking at this brother know he's a handsome brother and he's doing this gay stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. A waste of good humanity, human beings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or human yeah. body or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, we see all this evil going on around us, man. The place is polluted. Micah two and ten again. It's polluted. If you decide, well, we decide as blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, the chosen people of God, that we want to go and follow and do all these other extra stuff. And not pay attention to what is going on with us. This is the result. That's yeah. Right. And commanding general Yahana has taught us well. Give That's him right. a round of applause, Baba Kasha. Damn right. To water other one. So lock on, you. Go ahead. If, if if I may, I just want to uh, read a scripture real quick and say one last thing about this, and we can uh, mm -hmm. we can mm -hmm. move on. I want to read the book of Daniel, chapter eight. And verse 25, a great preset that you know what I'm saying. You want me to read it for you, brother, and then you break it down because I'm, I'm no, actually, I don't that. want I, I actually, I don't want this. Is one of your specialties. You can go ahead and break it down, or you or cap, you know, whichever one of y'all want to break it down. Um, yeah. this is the book of Daniel, chapter 8, and verse 25. And through his policy, mm. also, oh, oui. he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, right. and by peace shall destroy many. 
So, mm-hmm. Dr. Cap, you, you want to go ahead and, and... Good gracious. That peace. That peace. Man, he's that peace. He's trying to get the drugs off the street. He's saying, good gracious, man. That peace. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is terrible. I mean, this is an explaining. Explaining. I mean, come on. Black man, Hispanic man, even. We got us. This is Bible. This Bible is our constitution. It's right. talking about it. It's talking That's about right. our whole life. That's what right. goes on with us. You know what I'm saying? Good Lord. Man, right. that's policy. I mean, good Kong things Kong. that he. I mean, come on, boy. Come on, come on. Man, Stocky, if I may, sir. Well, come actually, on. I don't want. Uh, I, you wanted to say something real quick. Go ahead, Tabo. Yeah, come on, come on. I just want to say real quick. Uh, I, I brought this out because if you look at the, the picture right here, right, this is a quote from the sister. If you go further in that interview, at first she's talking about how oh, it's so awesome, she got the house or whatever, because it was a special program that they introduced in Raleigh about three years ago. For new homeowners, and it right. was te- it was they they marketed it as being tailored for people who already l- were in the community, right, or for people who were having a hard time getting certain loans or whatever, and so some people were able to get these houses, right. But what happened is is that those same people are now being priced out of the homes because the property taxes are skyrocketing, and what she mm-hmm. said was our property our property taxes have gone up because of gentrification. It's pricing people out like me when it was supposed to be an opportunity. You understand what happened? The pricing out that happened in that neighborhood was on purpose. They moved a, a couple of people, a couple of black people from the neighborhood, get these nice, these loans, get these, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, lower interest so they can get these homes. Then they gentrified the area, which what happens when a bunch of Edomites or with the so-called white man move into the neighborhood, the property value increases. It goes up. It skyrockets. So now the people who own the homes through this special deal, they Mm. can't afford the property taxes anymore. So what's going to happen? The house is going to probably get foreclosed. She's going to have to leave. And then someone else is going to be able to scoop up the house for cheap. You understand? Just like they always do. And the neighborhood Mm. will become will look absolutely nothing like it looked before. So when it says that, you know what I'm saying, through peace, he shall destroy many, that's what happened. This sister believed, again, now we're not telling you that you can't, you know, take advantage of uh, uh, of certain, you know what I'm saying, deals incentives. or whatever, incentives, right? But if she had proper uh, education from the ISUPK, she would have known, sis, you have to, you know, be careful. You got to make sure you know what they're talking about. Make sure you read the fine print. And this sister might have been able to keep her house because the ICPK would be there to help her out mm-hmm. to make sure she doesn't have to foreclose on her house. But this mm-hmm. is another process, another policy that they use to convince black people one minute, oh, we have another chance. We have an opportunity. Right. I mean, yeah. like you're just a pawn. You're just a cog in the machine. So that way, next That's time it. they can sweep everybody out in the, the neighborhood. There's going to be a Starbucks on the block next week. Salak you. Mm-hmm. Good night. And and, and uh, so like a cap, you want you want you want to say something, sir? No, no, no. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, and and you see, Taba, I happy that you, that you observe this because again, you know what I mean. You, you're not like the reporter guy with no beard. You know what I mean. <laughs> you, just your beard alone shows that you have a, a level of morality that that yeah. other people don't have. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the beard is so glorious. <laughs> but you know, again, we have to also understand too that the Lord has placed some curses on us because of our disobedience and hard heartedness. You, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, like there, there are tons of scriptures all over the Bible that 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 you know what I mean reflects what Tabawan just said. You know what I mean? We we feel comfortable. We 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 you know what I mean? How to say it? We naive right. to the oppressor. God. We, we, we go along with what, you know what I mean? Okay, well, all right, you know, cool. Less money to pay and opportunity and so on. Pale face speak yeah. with fork tongue. He does this all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? His words are smoother than butter, but he want to kick you out your house. Really? That's, That's what he want to do. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? And what he uses is his policies. Because remember, this is his kingdom. He can yeah. make up laws tomorrow to say that black people can't breathe air. Yeah. And what's going to happen? A lot of us going to die. Right. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because that is his law. <clears throat> you know how we mm-hmm. get out of this, Israel? Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, 
we come back to our God, man. We right. come back to our law, statutes, and commandments, man. So that we wouldn't have these devils ruling over top of us. You know come what on. I mean? Come on. That, that's that's basically what I wanted to say. And and if Don't I come. may, I want I want to pull a, a, a scripture real quick. I got you it. Know what I mean, um, what you give mean? me um Deuteronomy, um twenty eight, and um, twenty eight and twenty. Give me sixteen and then give me twenty. Don't come. Sure. To what? It's the book of Deuteronomy. Come, sir. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty eight and verse sixteen. Uh huh. Cursed. Shalt thou be in the city? Come on, say that one more time. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Say it one more time. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. You know, you, you know, you know why the scripture is saying this? It's because I don't know this sister. I don't know what she got going on. You know what I mean? But I know she's not in the UPK. Right. So she's a Christian. That's right. mm -hmm. I, I bet she she celebrated 4th of July last year. You know what I mean? Thanksgiving, Christmas God, just passed. God. Valentine's Day is Monday. I, I bet she's going to celebrate Valentine's Day. God, God, she will. And and you know why she's going to do it? Because she still thinks that the oppressor is okay. Is that right? There's some good white God. people. You know what God. I mean? That's that right. Martin Luther King doctrine. Mm -hmm. And and in essence, what we're doing is directly disobeying the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Exactly. That is why, read it again. Come, come. This is the book. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, and verse sixteen. Mm -hmm. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Yeah, it, it's it's not a blessing that 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 the gentrification <laughs> is going on. I know that. Right. <laughs> um, um, my 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 Jamaican brothers and sisters would say crosses. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. Crosses, yeah. child and crosses, yeah. brother. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of trials and 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 and, and curses. And tribulation, you know, what I mean, falling on us because we're not sticking to the law, statutes, and commandments. And everything that we're doing in the UPK basically is just trying to show our people that we have to come back to our God. God. It's the same thing that Moses did with the children of Israel when we were in Egypt. God. You know what I mean? Y'all need to put down whatever y'all doing, and we need to go and, you know what I mean? Repent. We need to change our ways. We Come need a couple of days, you know what I mean, in the wilderness so that we can, you know what I mean, whatever, and then we can come back to Pharaoh. But the Lord decided, nah, if you are leaving, you are leaving for good. That's right. You know what I mean? And that spirit is in the earth right now in the ISUPK under command of General right. Yohanan. You know what I mean? Right. We have to leave this place spiritually. That's right. I could have devils living right around me, all around me. God. That don't mean that when it's Thanksgiving, I gotta go and bring them a, a plate of turkey and, and, and um, uh, and it, you know what I mean? Like, no, stuffing, stuffing, mixed <laughs> stuffing. You know what I mean? Any more on that scripture, brother? Come on, come on, sir. Come on. Salakia and curse shalt thou be in the field. Right. Mm. You know what I mean? Everywhere oh. we are, it don't matter. You in city, you mm. you in the suburbs, you you, you in countryside. <laughs> If I, I mean, may, sir. Come on, Taba. It's a lot. I don't want to. Sorry to cut you off. I don't want. But no, you too, it's, it's, too it's, it's so heavy. Um, you know, curse are you being in the city, man. We read stories all the time. Captain, Yago, look what Captain Yago, I've just said, man, about the gentrification in D.C. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, you know, I'm not from D.C., but I, I, I go there relatively often. And every time I see it, I'm like, I remember back in the 90s, you know, I used to hear about D.C. Like, yo, that's Chocolate City. That's what I used God. to hear about it. You know Chocolate. what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, they used to call D.C. Chocolate City. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm, I'm, I'm in New York, and I, I would hear about D.C. Like, yo, you got D.C., whatever. Mm -hmm. How Howard Homecoming was like, you know, every exactly. rapper wanted to go to Howard Homecoming. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, and now it's completely different. You know, I used to hear about Southeast. Now they got, you know what I'm saying? They got the new yards and all that. You know what I'm saying? All the yeah. and, and you got white people Come. walking up all around the place. You know what I'm saying? That's being cursed yeah. in the city. But guess what? I got some brothers down there in Snow Hill and and and, 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 and uh you know what I'm saying in Snow Hill, North Carolina, where the population is 400, and them brothers mm. tell me the devils devils knock on their door and 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 and, and say, Oh, uh, um this isn't the ghetto, turn that music down. This is what? the ghetto, what? yeah. Like this, that that kind of <laughs> stuff happens, you know what I'm saying? No matter where you we're cursed, no matter where we go, I don't want so I just want to say that because this. This scripture is, is heavy. 
Y'all see this? Y'all see oh, this? Oh, come. 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 Y'all see this? That's come. right. Y'all see this, right? That's oh, right. This is a message to Edomites and every other nation. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying this without fear or reservation. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We serve our King Christ and Yahweh Shai. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, the, the other translation, you, 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 you could use it if you want, but we, we like to say Yahweh Shai. That's our mm -hmm. King, Christ. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And our God, Yahweh. You call Jehovah, you call Jesus Christ, all of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have specific instructions on how to conduct ourselves. And that's what we're doing. And I'm saying this, you know what I mean? This is, correct me, Cap, if I'm if I'm wrong for saying this, you know what I mean, Taba, if you know what I mean. But didn't Christ say sell your garments and 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 get yourself some swords? Mm -hmm. God. God. You know why he said that? In order for us to protect ourselves. That's right. We man. gonna defend ourselves That's right. at any means necessary. Exactly. You understand <clears throat> what I'm saying? Firstly, we're going to let the Lord deal with whatever. Mm -hmm. But if it comes to the point where we have to yeah. physically have to defend our homes and ourselves, God. Well, that's what we're going to do. That's God. right. In Snow we Hill. We ain't no Christians, man. Edomites running up on my brothers and saying, that's this terrible. is not the ghetto. That's Yo, all. this is not the Caucasus mountains of Georgia, that's Russia. Right. That's, right. Yeah. That's, that's right. where you should go back. God that's damn it. Right. You know what I mean? And you know, Salaki, you know, it's, it's crazy, you know, when you're saying that, you know, it was crazy, like I said, when you can see when I was still living in DC, and like um, <clears throat> you know, this was like before I came into the truth, right? So like on the fourth of July, of course, I would blow up the street on, on the fourth of July. Well, you know, on during the daytime, I used to just throw packs of firecrackers up in the air, you know, mm. playing with my son, my son and my nephew. And uh, this Edomite had her to walk down the street with her dog and said, uh, and she stopped like a little bit before she um, came over. On the other side of the street, I might add, she going to stop and holler over, hey, excuse me, can you can can you just stop that until I walk past? Because my dog doesn't like that. That was firecrackers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, boy. So you hear? So you know what I did? I said, I said, yeah, okay. Right when she got in the middle, I said, I flipped the pack at her. <laughs> <laughs> she just ran. She ran. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? But the nerve of them! The nerve of them! You know what I'm saying? The nerve of them, man! You know, right. they, oh, I mean, they are there. I mean, we can't live together with them. I mean, God. they are so despicable. Right. We can't live together with them. It won't work. It won't work. I mean, come on. We will. The scriptures say we fought in the womb. We were fighting in the womb. We won't. We won't work together. All right. We won't live together. It won't That's be right. no peace and harmony between us. Damn you know what I'm right. saying? We are always going to fight. We are always going to have conflict. You know what I'm saying? Because why? They are unbearable people. That's unbearable right. people to live with, to live around. You know what I'm saying? You can't even live in the same neighborhood with them. This God. is why we have to separate. Right. This is why the Bible speaks for us to separate. They do God's That's will heavy. and separate. Yeah, kind of concept. We got to separate from them. You know? Damn. Because they just, man, like I said, they have this, man, you know, relentless, despicable people. Did you really, you, you can't get along with them. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good. If, 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 one last thing, Salakia. It's just, y'all saying such, such heavy thing. Oh, you said they want heavy metal. Because... The brothers mm -hmm. who told me, check this out. The mm -hmm. brothers who told me about this incident, you know, what I'm saying out in the in the damn country. Damn. The the the, the, the devil. What she say? She said something else that was that was that was like I, I was, oh, she first she said she apparently she said this isn't the ghetto, right? Said that. Then mm -hmm. that of course the brothers being professionally trained brothers, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you know being real professional. One of the brothers asked her. And this is the story I just heard. One of the brothers asked her, "So, what? Uh, what do you, you supposed to be uh, some authority over us? Like, what are you? Who are you?" Mm. And she had the nerve to tell them, "Well, I used to be a parole officer." That's that straight to shit, Salaka. No, Salaka, <laughs> No, you're right. It means nothing. And, and of course, she's implying that these brothers must be on parole when they yeah. are not. 
Number two, and then number three, you know what the devil said? The devil going right with the story we just reading. She said to these brothers who own this home, by the way, and several other homes, said mm. to them, um, yeah, uh the 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 I see trash in your in your area when there was no trash and said, You guys, this isn't the ghetto, you're bringing the property value down. Mm. Mm. See? You see, you, you see how it all comes full circle? God. You're bringing God. the property. Just by you being black, you bring God. This is an actual fact. You can look it up. God. Just by being black, for, with no garbage, no loud music, with no mm -hmm. none of that, just by <laughs> being black, the value of the property goes down. Now, now what does that say? What, do, what does that say to, to these 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 these? These Negroes, I want to just wipe my foot on their face. Like, like, <laughs> what, 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 what does that say? You know what I mean? Like, what are you all doing for blacks, Latinos? Nothing. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know who's doing something? Commanding General Yohanna, man. Yes, yeah, I'm right. You know what I mean? All the generals, captains, and officers in the ISUPK, man. Damn. Trooper, Damn. sisters, and babies. We're doing Damn. something. You Damn. know what I mean? Because right. this is, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm not trying to over exaggerate uh, Taba one knows how, how i am you know mm -hmm. what i mean that that brother that brother i lived in durham that God. brother used to be around me like 24 7 mm -hmm. all God. were like this how he's still God. like this how i just live in another city now you know God. what i mean but he knows how i am God. like somebody would say one thing to disrespect the black race so-called Mm -hmm. or la latino or, or native americans sure. and my eyes would instantly turn red like this right here red what you say bro? what, what, what do you right. just say? what you just say no, right. now you need to correct your speech you know why because these are my brothers these are my That's sisters right. and these 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 so-called leaders man they 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 are the ones that like kaifas in them okay. mm -hmm. These 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 Negroes they need to be eradicated. You know what I mean? Bug spray on them like cockroaches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get rid of them. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. serious because they're That's the ones right. causing right. the demise of blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. God, because they're sleeping in the bed with the oppressor and all these other heathen nations that have their foot, their knee, everything on our necks. God. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so like, yeah. so like, I don't wanna. Yeah. And, no, and so you, so no, so good, because that's that's heavy what you're saying, you know. And I I, I just I saw a brother in the chat, and it, he and he in DC now. Uh, he just said that um, yeah, DC is stupid now, you know, stupid now, you know, because the, and I, 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 oh, so like you like froze, you, you, sir? you froze. I think he froze. Yeah, he might he might have to come back in. Con, there's no sweat. Yeah, he he probably just got a um. Just refresh. refresh it. Yeah, Khan. just refresh it. Come on, In the meantime, yeah, go, go ahead, go ahead, Taba. In the meantime, we we at a quarter to um two o'clock Eastern time. You know, what I mean, thank you everybody for joining us um on Unplug from the Matrix. Mm -hmm. Um, let's take a quick commercial break because I want to promote this hard. Commanding General Yahana will be teaching the. Feast of Purim live on Monday, 14th, February 2022 in uh, Philadelphia. It's, uh, it's going to be at um, 41 Upper Derby Road. You know what I mean? Um, so like, um 41 Garrett Road, Upper Derby, uh, Philadelphia. You know what I mean? And, and, and brothers and sisters, you know what I mean? We just want you to come out, you know what I mean? And, and get some knowledge, you know what I mean? If you're not in the trophy, if you're in the school, Come down, you know what I mean, and celebrate the Fist of Purim with Commanding General Yohanna because he is going to lay it down. You know what I mean? That's right. That's right. He's going, he's going to tell us what we need to know. You know what I mean? Our true heritage, history, and culture is in the Bible, and he's the only one authorized on the earth, you know what I mean, to lead blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's Taba, right. you got anything before we jump into the promo real quick? A uh, lot, sir. Just check it out. Check out the promo, y'all. Right. Most high in Christ. Like sure.
Hey, Shalom, y'all bash me, y'all bash me, y'all bash me, y'all bash me, bash me, y'all Hey, listen, check this out. Commanding General Yohanna will be teaching the class live on Monday, 14th February 2022 in Philadelphia. Listen, he's going to be breaking down the Fist of Purim as it was meant to be broken down, you know what I mean? Listen, the Fist of Purim is a very important part of our lives as blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And Commanding General Yohanna is going to be breaking it down all the way flat for all people, you know what I mean? That's Monday, 14 February, 2022 in Philadelphia. It's gonna be uh, 41 Garrett Road, Upper Derby, PA, you know what I mean? You can't miss it. We are going live. Join us, Commanding General Yohannes. PK, home of the troops, the original zone, 1969. The game is afoot, let's get it on. We invite all our brothers and sisters to come down, man. Come down and enjoy the Fist of Purim with Commanding General Yohanna as he break it down. Shalom. Tune in to Unplugged from the Matrix every Friday from 12 to 2 p.m. Get unplugged. I-S-U-P-K, 53rd Annual Lord's Passover. 53rd Annual Lord's Passover is going to be held down here in Florida. It's going down. You are here tonight to get a chance to be righteous enough. To be worthy of God. Come on, to say That's right. It's going down. The Lord's 53rd Annual Passover. When we say we know power, we stop that business. We know power up in here. Book your hotels now at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites. The IHG Hotel, 301 Tucker Lane, Cocoa Beach, Florida, 32926. Is a lot of men down. You're dealing with the men of war. We at war. I'm with the Lord. Oh, I got a This is like an apartment. And a hotel. You know what I mean? This here right here is about to be holy ground. This is going to be holy ground. From all our beautiful, wonderful brothers and sisters from all over the world. You understand? We can boast that now. Brothers and sisters coming not only from this, every state, but from all over the world. I heard the numbers this year is ridiculous. We had to buy out the whole hotel. Friday, April 15th at the Space Coast Convention Center. This is going to be glorious. We don't give a fuck, you can see it in our face. Preaching proper of the Lord, gotta teach this beat, exposing all the lies with the truth. Now they can see the evil, we the lost children of the Lord. Y'all should all are chopping heads off with my sword. Holy Bible, one west. One wish, one wish, one wish, one wish, one wish. All right, all right. All right. Yes, sir. Bashmi Al-Shai, to all the brothers. Malatan Bashmi al to all the sisters. Our captain of 10,000, you got to walk this experience. It's difficult, difficult, difficult things. And Can't. Right now. You know what I mean? Can't. No sweat, no sweat. Hopefully, we'll get him back on momentarily. Can't. You know what I'm saying? But um, nonetheless, we we gonna keep uh, you know what I'm saying, keep going on, keep rocking. Where we, it go, out where we going? Water. Talk about where, where we going? Where we going? Okay, so we got really those those two stories I sent you are really tied together. Um, so what happened was so okay, so it's gonna be hard to find a video. I don't know if we can find it. They're probably and we probably shouldn't play it because it'll get flagged and they already they just need any excuse to take our video down anyway. They but Joe Rogan, not not unplugged from the main. Oh God, they can't. Joe Rogan. <laughs> the uh, well-known podcaster, um, stand-up comedian, 
um, you know, uh, color commentator for UFC. Gay. He does. <laughs> God, sir, I mean, I'm so saying sweat. it, bro. No, I'm, I'm hey, saying it. I'm, saying it. Yeah. And I, you, I'm not going to deny, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? I, I can't put it past these people. If you're not in the ISUPK, I'm not I can put past. nothing past you. I'm I'm just saying Call, call. The, the the oppressor is gay by nature. Oh, there we go. Call, call. I got you. <laughs> we got, we got cat back, though. Come on. Mosa and Christ. I don't want We thought we lost you there, sir. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 I almost hey, called the general to say, "Hey, Slacky, we lost." The devil you. used to mess with us all the time in DC class, man. Shit, we <laughs> right. the, the devil used to turn our Facebook class off, man. Mm. Good <laughs> night. Good night, <laughs> oh, man. man. No sweat, no sweat. Well, um, <laughs> what, what, what y'all hear about Joe Rogan, I want you. What y'all hear about that situation? Hey, I heard, you know, I heard little bits and pieces about Joe Rogan. Now, Joe mm -hmm. Rogan, he was already, what, what, what did what he first was saying? I don't, you know, I've been hearing bits and pieces of Joe Rogan. This is you know, the I, one we're going to do? No, Joe Rogan, it's related to Trump. Okay. Yeah, so you, you, you can leave Trump up there. So, matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll just kind of breeze through Joe Rogan so we can get the background and see what okay. Trump is saying. Okay, well, I'm gonna put a picture of um um, um Joe Rogan up there then. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go ahead, go ahead. Salak, if I may. He was a fear factor, right? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was also on Fear Factor. He's an yeah. uh, announcer for UFC. He's a yeah, stand-up yeah. comedian. All these yeah. things. Now he has one of the most successful podcasts. Yeah. Out. Period. So, um, so correct me if I'm wrong. So he's a he's a racist now. Uh, so is he a racist or what? Well, according to him, of course. He's not a racist, that according okay. to him, right? But what happened was, and we're going to read about it in the article, okay? All right, this is an article from NPR um, on the situation. Uh, I have a name for what fueled Joe Rogan's new scandal, bigotry denial syndrome, right? Now, it says, the latest controversy uh, podcaster and comic Joe Rogan faces right now also highlights a fear which often plagues black folks, that a high-profile person who claims to not be racist and an ally to people of color may actually be the opposite. I, I must admit, I got to give his brother who wrote this article credit because, you know what I'm saying, at least what he's saying, this is what we've been, the ICBK been saying since 1969. And I might as well already cue up the scripture that tells you what, you know what I mean? Like, you know, um, well, there's two I could use. The one that says, never trust thy enemy, you right. know what I'm saying? And also in the same uh, in the same chapter where it says, who can have pity on a, on a snake charmer? In the ICBK, we've always known that these liberal-minded or whatever they call themselves, uh, 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 white people who call, who say that they're friends of black people, they love everybody or whatever. This is the same thing we call people out for at camp when they claim to love black people and we prove them to be liars. Um, it says, and in, in Rogan's case, it's all wrapped up in something I've called bigotry denial syndrome. Rogan himself <laughs> claims he isn't racist. He says clips on social media of him using the N-word in his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, were examples of him invoking the word in conversations where it wasn't used as a slur about specific people or black people in general. All right, listen, Rogan, what, Salaki, if I may, mm -hmm. Baba Kusha, let me say this real quick. You know <laughs> what I mean? Uh, uh, Salaki Cap, uh, mm -hmm. if I may, Baba Kusha, no permission, permission to speak freely, Baba mm -hmm. If I may, Cap. Go ahead, no sweat. Man, fuck Joe Rogan and That's fuck right. these white people. You know why? <laughs> because if we say you're a cracker, or we if we just say that we're the true Jews, Nick Cannon gets shut down. Right. But then you using the N-word, which is a derogatory word towards us in a conversation to mean what? Mm. Re re read that little portion again. He no, says that he, the clips of social it, it, it media word. The N -word is in his podcast. Joe Rogan experience were um, examples of him invoking the N word in conversations. Come on, come on. So basically, what it, what it is is this, right? And I want so y'all gotta really follow us on this. And I don't want I want you to you know what I'm saying to, to break down what you're saying, right? But I'm just giving an example of what he what it means. Come on. Come on. So, 
We can't get the video because they've been flagging it and taking it down everywhere. So it's, it's like you can't get it. If you put it up, mm -hmm. get in trouble. Basically, they found clips from like years ago of him on this on his podcast mm -hmm. using the N word. Right? It really was brought out because of a situation with Spotify artists are leaving. So he said something about it in India already. The um Grammy nominated uh, uh, uh artist, the sister. She said she's taking her music off Spotify because she doesn't like the idea of the, the, the platform that her music is on paying him $100 million when he does stuff like this. And what it is is a bunch of clips of him saying, saying nigger, but he won't say it like, like call somebody. He'll be like reading something and like, you know, and just be like, and, uh, and such and such and such, call him a nigger and da 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 da. He won't say N word, he'll say nigger, but he'll be, he'll, he'll be like, He'll say something like, "Yeah, you know, I don't. I think it's really terrible. Though. I think that the word nigger just shouldn't be used. Uh, people shouldn't use that word in certain ways. Or, you know, uh, and yeah, he called him a nigger. And then he'll say it like that. But because oh. he's not saying it at somebody, like you're this, oh. so, so like he's making it seem I, I, like, I, I, oh I, well. So like I, 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 oh, okay, 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 okay. I understand. Listen. My 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 intelligence is is way surpassed that of 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 any cockazoid. So this this is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> if 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 I'm I'm dealing with um let's say mm, let's just use a female because I, I don't want to attack LGBTQ because we don't attack them. We just speak the truth. Mm -hmm. I have a, I have a let's just see. Hypothetically speaking, I have a woman, and she is a. You know, she's going around and doing shady stuff. I don't have no proof. But then she's right there in front of me. I'm, I'm talking to her mother. And I'm saying, like, you know, in my life, I always wanted a good woman. I never wanted no bitch. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just being real. What, what, what am I saying? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm calling her a bitch. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm talking to her mother, right? Right. Mm -hmm. That is what that, that's the psychological, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Tactics, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. The subtle nature of these devils. Yep. That's what they use. Right? Like, come on, man. Yeah. Like this is not gonna pass us yeah. in the ISPPK. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can go to and, and see, and see the lock on, this, uh, this white man is having, I mean, he is he is getting so much joy out of just saying nigga. Right. Yep. That's he, it. He he enjoy out of just saying nigger. Go, you go. Nigger, nigger. Hey, you know, they use nigger a lot. You know, nigger is just, <laughs> nigger is just where nigger is derogatory. Yeah. Nigger, <laughs> he's having, I mean, come on, man. Damn right. <laughs> come on, man. You know, he's having a good time just saying nigger, nigger, right. nigger. You know what yep. I'm saying? Yep. Because around the house, he'd be saying, them niggas are crazy. Them right. niggas are crazy. I'm sick of being around those niggas. I'm tired, yeah, right, I'm tired of working with those niggas. Oh, right. that nigga is crazy. Why that mm -hmm. nigga cop got to come to my house? You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So now he's just, boy, boy. Man, you know, the white man's the devil, man. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, one, quick, one quick thing again a hey, brothers and sisters if you could baba kasha please like share and subscribe to unplug from the matrix mm -hmm. you know what i mean we could be in the strip club mm -hmm. we could be in the back of the house smoking weed we could be doing whatever but mm -hmm. we're here as brothers in different areas of the world mm -hmm. bringing right. you this truth man to unlock your mind to That's open right. your mind to the reality that we're living in <clears throat> we press for time so I'm, I'm not going to make it long-winded, you know what I'm saying? Like, share, and subscribe, you know what I mean? And and donate to the channel, man. Right now, we right. just, you know what I mean, upped, you know what I mean, our broadcasting capabilities. We're going to be broadcasting to eight uh, or, or ten. Uh, uh, don't quote me on that. But a lot of um, um different platforms simultaneously, you know what I mean? We're not saying, hey, we need your money. So just donate. If you like the content, like, share, subscribe, send some money to us. The cash app. We're not gonna use your money to buy no Rolls Royce. Twenty dollars right. is not gonna help. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. That's you know right. I mean? Or Cabo one or Captain Igarwa. You know what I mean? It's That's just right. for us to be able to keep this going. You know what I mean? Whether you donate or not, we are gonna keep it going. That's right. right. I'm just saying, like, you'll be involved in something way bigger than what your Christian pastor 
has That's done true. for you and your community all his life. You That's know right. what I mean? Yeah, Salaki, I just wanted to plug that in real quick. Yeah, no time. Time. I don't want oh, this was one one last thing uh, that we to, to say about that particular thing. So mm -hmm. Joe Rogan said all those in words. And um, there's another thing he said. They found a video from 11 years ago. Uh, if we can get that audio, maybe next week. But there's an audio clip from 11 years ago on this on his show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he talks about he talks about an experience of going to a movie theater. And you know what he said? I guess he goes to a movie theater. And he just he said this. He said it was like walking into the planet of the apes. There no. were no white. He said it was like walking into the planet mm. of the apes. There were no white people at all. That's what he said. Mm. He mm -mm. said that. I'm gonna find and now, it. <laughs> I'm no, we'll go. every, everybody who loves MMA and Joe Rogan and uh... yeah, 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 yeah. And I and I heard about that. I heard about that. He said mm -hmm. that. Yeah, that's. I mean, come on. Count on, count on. Count on. So, so, so you see, so y'all feel, yeah, so, so I, I, I pray everybody you know, online, I'm feel what I'm saying when he, when he says, oh, nigger. Well, people right. already call black people niggers. It's not right. right to call black people niggers. You know, right. black people are not niggers. You know, mm -hmm. he just, he just jerking off, so to speak. You know right. what I'm saying? Count on, count on. <laughs> He's getting joy out of just saying yeah, niggers. Right. You know. <laughs> Damn right. Good the oppressor is the devil. The Bible speaks of. You know, That's right. right. You gotta keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and all the one. God. If you could, the last thing we can do, we can, we can end it there. Just put up that 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 article with uh, uh with Donald Trump. Just put the picture up there. So they can see what he said. Con, con. I'm and working that, on it and, right and, now. And, and that's right there. That this will show you the reality of America. This will con. show yeah. you. Matrix, you understand? Let's right. see what your former, the, the the same person that America voted in. Can you scroll up a little bit so we can see the on uh, the title. There we go. Trump tells Joe Rogan to stop apologizing. <laughs> he says, he says, don't let them make you look weak and frightened. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Mm. What, Trump, what Trump told Joe Rogan? <laughs> he told him to stop apologizing because Joe Rogan came back and started copping. Please, he yeah. said, "I'm sorry." He said, "Yeah, I used to think that it was okay for a white person to say it as long as they were not like saying it to a black person to disrespect them or denigrate them. If you're just saying it in conversation, it's okay." He said, "Now nah, I don't believe that anymore. I haven't said that word in many years." He said, "All that old footage is terrible. I'm embarrassed by it. It's so horrendous and horrible." Well, mm -hmm. guess what? Donald Trump said, stop apologizing. You did nothing wrong. What they're saying about the N-word is misinformation. He said, don't let them make you look weak and frightened. Mm -hmm. He's probably going to run for president Silak, again and win. Silak, 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 let Please. that soak in. Let that soak into our crunctified Christians who go on church to, um, on Sunday. Yeah. Let, let that soak in. Yeah. With all my, all brothers and sisters who have who have um, um heathens in their bed, mm -hmm. let that soak in. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, we. It's on the screen. Y'all can read it for yourselves. You see it? Mm. Mm. Donald Trump, the man of the year. <laughs> Lord. The man with the worst toupee in the whole world. <laughs> That's right. Now I'm, mm. I'm not making this up. This 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 is reality. We 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 see in this. Like at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Uh, we have we have um Morpheus, we have um uh, what's, uh, what's what's the other guy name? Help me out, Tabo one. Uh Neo. No, we're not talking about Neo yet. Talking about Morpheus. We got Morpheus. We got. I mean, you want me to just name the cast? Like, yes. <laughs> all right. You you get the point, Israel. <laughs> At the end of the day, we are unplugged. We are not part of the society. Yeah, so man. none of this. It don't. It don't really. I mean, we're not surprised. But but your yeah. Christian pastor gonna be surprised. He's gonna have a whole sermon on how white people should not be racist when the dumb idiot should be yeah. worrying about how we should separate. From these mm -hmm. 
these, these devils. Yes. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Come. 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 And that, that's Come. exactly what we need to do. And the Come. only place you can find brothers Come. and sisters doing that is help me out. I ask you. In the IGPK on the community. Yes. You know what I'm saying? There, there ain't no other way about it, man. Trump, yeah. Trump loves America. Trump loves right. his America and, and, and what his forefathers has done to get him where he at. When are we going to love our forefathers and our ancestors That's to it. get to where, where the Lord wants us to be? That's right. That's, it. That's the question. Mm -hmm. Instead of always being underfoot. They, man, they, these, these devils have no power. When I say they have no power, as long as we come back to our God or our Lord doesn't come back, they have no power over us. The Lord is going to destroy this place with whirlwinds, tempests, fire, yeah, wake, it's coming. hurricanes, all kinds of stuff. It's when coming. they put their hands on us, it's all over the Bible. It's coming. I'm off of it. Salaki. Mm. That's all we got for today, other one. That's it. Most in Christ. Let's well done. Salaki, Salaki for the late, late start and, and all of that. You know, every other week we, we face different challenges. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Keisha Moore. You know what I mean? She said, uh, great, great, great podcast. Well, we teach the truth. You know what I mean? And and again, can we do a quick roll call, Taba, if we could, just before we get off the show? And then, you know come on, I mean? sir. Come on, come on. I'm going to run it all down, all right? So let me say, to, mm -hmm. I'm going to say first to order Akium. Yahweh mm -hmm. Shemuel Shabbat Shalom and to the sisters Yahweh Shema all the thought about Shemuel Shalom. Let me run it down. Shout out to Yosef Israel. Shout out to Officer Napash. Shout out to Kazakwana. Shout out to Officer Pagaybo. Uh, shout out to uh, uh, Ren, no, like here, uh Reynold, uh, Karamia Allah Jones, Karamia Allah Slack like, Shalom. Uh, shout out to Princess Laura Yah. Shout out to Officer Zania Allah. Shout out to uh, uh Officer Five Thousand Kazak Yaj. Model one. Um. Who else we got? We got. Oh, shout out to Keisha Moore. And that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, then, hey, 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 hey Salaki, let me let me let me say a shout out to my rib because I will not keep been on. Oh, come. <laughs> come, come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Absolutely. She, 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 she's one of our regulars, you know what I'm saying? Well, that, that's exactly. 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 exactly diligently watching the podcast, the water says. And always yeah. dropping some some heavy. Always. I think I think I yeah got 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 clipped out of um oh yeah out of the live Kong Kong. Yeah. He should be back shortly. There he is right there. Go on. Sorry, we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we you know <laughs> that all that oh. stuff is remnants of oppression, man. Of, 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 of the devil. You know I mean? like, the devil. They, you know what I'm saying? We do we dealing with them, but we're, but we having our shows through their technology. You know what I'm saying? Right. The most the most high is making a way to for us to, to use our show, you know what I'm saying, to bring them their kingdom using their technology. Right. <laughs> you that's, know, that's, whatever. That's beautiful. That's right. You know, exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, we, so we can expect some of those things to happen some of the times. You know what I'm saying? No. You know what I'm saying? But we just don't want our people, our audience, to under, don't lose the focus of, you know, the oppressor is the devil the Bible speaks of. Damn you know right. what I'm saying? That's right. That's Those right. things are going to happen. You know what I'm saying? As long as we're in this captivity, things are going to happen. You know what I'm Come saying? Right. But, but, you know, but it's all prophesied that, you know, they going, their kingdom is sinking like the Titanic. So, right. That's right. Damn right. Kind of <laughs> that's right. Okay, and, with, and with that, listen, you know what I mean? <laughs> Tune in every week to Unplug from great. the Matrix. I want to give Captain Mashak a big round of applause. You know what I mean? Uh, because, you know, the, the brother is over all social media and, and he's been, you know what I mean, every black watch and, and every time he get the chance, he he be pushing Unplugged from yeah. the Matrix and all the other podcasts that we have across the nation of Israel, Boot Up yeah. and Shut Up Radio, Cross the Line Radio, you know what I mean, on, on um, Hidden Truth Reveal, all, everything, you know what I mean? Big ups to all the brothers all over the nation, you know what I mean, who's trying to put out the truth to the nation of Israel, blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, there is only one West. You know what I mean? There That's will right. only be one West. You know what I mean? And with that, if your brothers got anything else, you know what I mean? That's it. You're, you're, you're too up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, come my on. God. Salak, your Taba. Taba yeah, that's one right. That's right. That's right. Page taba one -yum. 
<laughs> yeah, pay your tithes. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Pay your tithes to Command and General Yohan at Israel High School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Go to www.isubk.com for more information. You know, just remember, we are the home of the truth. You know what I mean? We bring yeah. the truth, you know what I mean? According to the Bible. Not according to Captain Yugarawa or Officer Tabawan or myself. According to the Bible. If the so Bible says it. don't do it, we don't do it. If it That's says do it, it, then we do it. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like at mm. the end of the day, they can storm the capital because their constitution gave them so much power. You know what I mean? Yeah. To take Class. over and all of that. Class. Class. What are we doing? That's what it. are we doing amongst them? We have our That's own it. constitution, which is the Bible. Right? You know That's what I mean? It. So to water to everybody, you know what I mean? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Um, how you say love in, 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 in Hebrew? I, I knew it one time, I forgot. <laughs> Never mind. But I'm anyway, sure. you know what I mean? Love, enough love, respect to all our brothers and sisters in the UK, hey, like, you know what I mean? Hey, so, so like, yeah, can I want cancer? Like, like Joel thir 3 and 13 says, mm -hmm. says, the harvest is right. You right. gotta understand the harvest is right. That means and all their wickedness, you know, all the, the evil people who the most high want to start World War Three with and all the, all that good stuff, all that God's vengeance, mm -hmm. they're gonna bring it. Hey, <clears throat> Joel third three and thirteen says, Hey, the harvest is right. Because That's a lot right, of them yeah. all are there. They are all in their place. Damn right. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn right. That, and that's why we got to focus as a people, okay. black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. We got to focus on being righteous unto the Most High. Damn you right. don't want to get caught up in the Most High's wrath on them. Right. You know stand there with them. I mean, come on. What, what sense does that make? <laughs> okay. you know? Yeah, that's all I want to say, man. Most High Christ. <laughs> and with that, you know what I'm saying? See y'all next week. You know what I mean? Tune in every week, 12 to 2 p.m. Right. Unplug from the Matrix. With Captain Yugarawa, Officer um, Ayaza Ab, and Officer Tabo One Yahawada. You know what I mean? Shalom. Yaw Bashim Yashab Rakatam. Yaw Shalom. 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 Yaw SUPK 53rd Annual Low Passover. 53rd Annual Lord's Passover is going to be held down here in Florida. It's going down. You're here tonight to get a chance to be righteous enough to be worthy of God. Come on, say That's right. It's going down. The Lord's 53rd Annual Passover. When we say we will tell we stop that business. We go tell the business. Book your hotels now at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites. The IHG Hotel. 301 Parker Lane. Coco Beach, Coco Florida, three two nine two six. There's a lot of men down. You dealing with the men of war. We at war. I shot him with the lead. I told you. 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 This will be holy ground. All our beautiful, all wonderful our brothers and sisters from all over the world. We understand we can boast that now. Brothers and sisters coming not only from every state, but from all over the world. I heard the numbers this year is ridiculous. We had to buy out the whole hotel. Friday, April 15th, at the Space Coast Convention Center. This is going this is going to glory 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 We don't give a fuck you can see it in our face I got it up got it up straight up out of the
Hey, shalom, y'all bash me, y'all brakata. Y'all shamalatan bash me, y'all shah. Hey, listen, check this out. Commanding General Yohanna will be teaching the class live on Monday, 14th February 2022 in Philadelphia. Listen, he's going to be breaking down the Fist of Purim as it was meant to be broken down, you know what I mean? Listen, the Fist of Purim is a very important part of our lives as blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. And Commanding General Yohanna is going to be breaking it down all the way flat for all people, you know what I mean? That's Monday, 14th February 2022 in Philadelphia. It's going to be uh, 41 Garrett Road, Upper Derby, PA. You know what I mean? You can't miss it. We going live. Join us. Commanding General Yohannes. Right. Home of the troops. The original zone. 1969. The game is afoot. Let's get it on. We invite all our brothers and sisters to come down, man. Come down and enjoy the Fist of Purim with Commanding General Yohanna as he break it down. Shalom. UPK, who and West, Babylon is falling, is falling to rise no more. Hey. Babylon is falling, is falling. Freedom is here, my friend, not just part of the nation. Yeah, our shine never come bring peace in start of the vision. Now put your trust in the riches and welcome Zara, my nation. But just the last statutes and commandments We make the decision To keep them with precision I just part of the nation Daniel get a vision Him see the black Christ It wasn't a white depiction No allegiance to Rome nor its regions Come out them religion If you want be a free man Cause the deacons them full of demons Same situation with Rasta with Islam Holy beacon of hope for your lean And his UPK and the General Yana Every foul of the Hear every beast of the field, every creeping thing we creep and land, every mouth of the clear, loud and clear. Yeah, our shy mashiach is a black man who have fear. Let him hear, time to prepare. Spiritually separate from Babylon. We no weak, we no fear. We it, we no tear. Bun sada, my bun, but him and I just part of the nation. Yeah, our shy never come bring peace in start of the vision. Now put your trust in our riches and welcome to our nation. Adjust the last statutes and commandments We make the decision To keep them with precision Just part of the nation Send evils and curses From the poor city and the beasts and all churches America fall, them deserve it Rome get defeat, history repeat and all the first days Hey, 400 years they work with Then desert with, then turn round and call it worthless but now the COVID lurking, them hurting And then the doctors and nurses hey, One day they're building up the turn After the long turn No care much money you are earn If you still want Babylon burn One day they're building up the turn After the long turn No care much money you are earn hey, I just got the mission now our shy never come bring peace in start of the vision Now put your trust in our riches and welcome to our nation Adjust the last statutes and commandments We make the decision To keep them with precision Adjust part of the mission Outstanding